On Sailing Catalpa, Lee fixes our starter motor issues and we explore the beautiful Lizard Island. So, <clears throat> we might be able to get out of trouble. We've managed to, we had a double whammy the other day, so we had the solenoid on the starter motor go, which we've, I reckon, managed to rebuild back to just about brand new because it was pretty much just dirty connections, really. Um, over the years it's been on the boat, so it's shiny as inside now All the terminals are good So the next task was our sail that we ripped in half which was our main which is just beyond our capabilities of stitching up at the moment um, So We found this main I haven't even put it on the boat, but it was in one of the lockers. It's you know It's, it's an old crappy main, but I think it'll get us out of trouble if it fits so, it's not the best, it's just missing a uh, sail slug, which we're just putting on now. So, get these, this on. So that's all that was missing, from what we can see now. Um, hopefully it's the right height, otherwise we'll just have to put a reef in it and run it a bit shorter but it, it should fit, being that it was with the boat, so just would never put it on. And we measured it before you left. Yeah, I can't remember what the measurement was, though. Because you measured it because otherwise we are going to throw it out. Yeah, so it I wasn't fit. sure whether it was going to be cut down or not, or whatever, but... Anyway, um, put this slug on and we'll get our torn main off, and see how we go putting this one on. <laughs> Lee's boat tip for today, have a good assortment of O-rings. Today I've just come across um, a pressure relief valve on the dive unit that wasn't working, it was failing, I just pulled it apart, very simple little unit, but here we have it, perished O-rings. Probably two days ago we had another drip under the sink, again perished O-rings, so, and they're not that old. It's just a good handy little kit to have because so much stuff has O-rings in it and uh, gets you out of trouble. You got a dirty bum. <laughs> ah, it's pretty good. I was just being loving. <laughs> so it's about six o'clock Tuesday morning and we're leaving Lizard Island, heading out to the reef, hoping, hoping that we can dive the cod hole. Had a beautiful little stay at Lizard. Nice anchorage, but really windy. Um, Actually, the first day it's been under 20 knots, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's very protected in here from the swell. There's no roll, but the wind just comes straight over the top. And um, yeah, but it's all manageable. It's good holding, it's good sand bottom. National Park guys came yesterday and um, we're just letting us know that they're going to actually be burning off today so we were planning on leaving this morning anyway because there's a bit of a window in the weather but um, they're also doing a burn off so we weren't going to hang around because there would have been ash and fire all in the air so it was a good good day to leave. We've uh, had a really nice time on Lizard Island. We had some friends here with us um, a few days ago. We walked up to the lookout, Captain Cook's lookout, um, where James Cook wandered up in uh, the early 1700s to see where he can see where he could uh, get out of the reef, or see where the reef ended, so he, they could get out safely. So there's a little bit of history. Um, we had a nice snorkel around. The reef isn't, it, it's fine, but it's not what it could have been. Um, the fish life on it's pretty amazing. There's heaps of fish. But we're hoping out at the Ribbon Reef, out at the Cod Hole, um, 
we're hoping to see some beautiful corals and obviously some big cod and uh, we've heard there's lots of sharks but it's supposed to be a world class. Uh, we've kind of sat here and waited because we really wanted to do that before we left Australia. Um, that's about it. After there we're going to go to Stanley Islands I think and then we'll head up pretty much just gun it to Thursday Island. So we are going to spend a little bit of time there with our friends so we want to get there as quick as possible. We cleaned out starter motor which seems to be just kicking over so nicely and we've got a new, well not a new main, we had a spare mainsail um, down below that we've never used before and it's quite old but it's not torn so fingers crossed it lasts till we get up to at least Darwin <laughs> uh, if not beyond but we will get our other sail fixed when we can Viz looks amazing, but there's fish everywhere. So we're about to go diving in the cod hole. We jumped into the water. I looked down and saw sharks and massive fish. I was pretty excited to experience the cod hole. We headed down the line. Soon as we got to the bottom, these big, beautiful cods came to say hello. After a little while, we got the feeling that they weren't just there to say hello. We were pretty sure that they wanted us to feed them. And they weren't shy to get up close and personal. Got a fish on. We just left the reef at the cod hole. 
amazing. Well, it's a you really, are, by the way. really cool dive. And um, we're just heading back into Lizard Island and he was trolling. But not very long at all, and he's on. But Going through a split ring. Oh, I reckon it's uh, one of those fish we got from. Dog turn up. What is it? Oh, what's that? It's like a job fish. A job fish. I don't know. We'll look it up in the yeah. book. You want to be quick and I'll um, rosy snapper, job fish. 38 combined total of 8. 38. 38 centimetres and it's yeah. a job fish. And the book says it's okay eating or good eating, so I think we're going to keep it and have a go. Have a go. Didn't take long, did it? It's really shallow ground through here. Yeah, we haven't caught a reef fish on a lure before, have we? No, that's the first. I knew it was different. It didn't have any, like a big run like a Spanish or tuna. What did I say? 38. He'd be 38. He'd be 60. Hold it up and show me. Hello. Oh, sailing in the moonlight, babe. So beautiful. The moon. So it's a full moon tonight. Lizard Island is on fire. So they're doing a burn off today on the island, a controlled burning. And uh, it's still going. So we've left, uh, we went out to the cod hole today, out on the ribbon reef. Had uh, two amazing dives, and uh, we're just on our way back now. It's about 6.30, I think, and it's getting dark. We're just going to go back into Lizard Island and an anchor there for the night and then we're going to head off tomorrow. But, um, it's a lot nicer going with the wind and the swell. We had a bit of a rough time getting out to the reef today because it was directly, the wind was coming from exactly where we wanted to go. So We're stoked we did that because we've kind of been waiting for this little bit of a weather window to go do it. And um, yeah, we definitely couldn't have gone out yesterday. We had 15 knots of wind today and it was just uncomfortable so it's, it's been 20 to 25 to 30 the last few days, so yeah. We've had a good little dose of diving, so we'll head off tomorrow and uh, keep heading north. So it's Wednesday morning, we're just leaving Lizard Island again. Um, so we've got about 15 to 20 knots wind and we're heading towards Stanley Island. We're not sure if we'll get there because it's about 70 nautical miles away. Um, we woke up later than we planned, but um, we will have a go. It's a big fish. And then the world record is 44.9 kilograms. Wowzer. And what does it say about it? It's found in coastal areas. And is it good eating? Yes, it's got four stars. We know it is. We love our Spanish mackerel. Sushi time. And this is it here. That's, the and that's of Oahu it. Spanish mackerel. That's what we end up with. A nice little fillet like that. Whoa, my fist didn't slide off. At least I got half a fillet anyway, if it does. That's it. We'll trim that up beautifully, and that is just beautiful eating flesh. So I'm just downstairs in the galley cooking up 
the um, finished mackerel that Lee just caught. So all I've done is just fried it in some, um, some ghee and I put flour and our favourite seasoning at the moment which is lemon pepper. That's all we use. Put a bit of flour and a bit of that and then fry it up. I also made some sushi rice. So I'll either make some sushi or just eat it with the fish and the rice and some lettuce. But um, that's not too bad down in the gully today. We're rocking a little bit. There's a big mess. I've got all the dishes in the sink. So when we're going along, I pretty much just throw everything in the sink. And then when we get to where we're stopping or if it comes down, I'll wash up. But uh, you kind of just have to plant myself between this U shape that our gully is. So I put leg either side. Engage all the muscles, and uh, and it's pretty easy. So we're we're sailing downwind, so not too bad. But that's what is happening. I think we're going about five or six knots, and um, yeah. So I'm just cooking up some lunch. It's about 10:30 or 11. Everyone's hungry earlier today, so. I'll make some lunch and I'll also cook some, well, I've made some bread and, it, and it's rising nicely. And these are um, bamboo, no, not bamboo, <laughs> beeswax cloths that I got while I was in Cairns. They're really easy to make, but I didn't make it. I just got it from the markets. But they're really good um, to, instead of using glad wrap, so. I really like those. One kid asleep, I think the other kid's doing some schoolwork. Sizzle, sizzle. How's the fish? Fish are good. Whoa! <laughs> oh, other kid is studying. Good man. So I'm going to go back, get all the fish off and feed everybody. So we're just coming into our anchorage for the night. It just picked up to like 30 knots of wind. We had to put our mainsail down. It was horrible, but we got it down safely. And uh, we're really close to getting in, but we're not there yet. And Lee's a bit wet back there. <laughs> keep breaking over and they're getting him wet. Too bad, I've only got 35 knots. Is it 35? 35. Come around and... Um, <laughs> you got no jacket? Within half an hour it's gone from 25 to 35. Just yeah, in time. We just turned the corner. We're actually 10, 10 nautical miles off where we were aiming for, but we've decided to just come in here. Stay the night, then we'll go over to Flinders, the Flinders group of islands tomorrow morning. I made garlic bread. Dinner tonight is a bit of an Italian flavour. Some tomatoes, olives, zucchini, red onion, and Spanish mackerel. And we have some Pasta to go with it. So we left this morning our anchorage that was only 10 nautical miles away from the Flinders Islands or the Flinders group of islands um, and we're on our way over there now. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning and we've got about 10 or 15 knots of apparent wind. Is that right? Yeah. And um, so we're going to go over there. There are some Aboriginal artworks that we're going to go and explore. So there's some, some caves and they're supposed to be pretty cool. So we'll go and have a look at those. So up next on Sailing Catalpa, we explore Stanley Island and see some Aboriginal artwork in the caves. Yeah. To say. 